Welcome back to uh, Archive Gaming, everybody. Got another video here for Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. And we're playing as uh, Liu Kui in the Rise of Liu Kui scenario. So, um, yeah, we're picking up right where we left off. So, we're pretty much in a constant state of, I would, I want to call it skirmishing. And, um, He's just looking for an opportunity. So right now, you can see I'm in the center. And uh, the real interesting thing about this one is that there hasn't been a clear-cut uh, runaway winner just yet. You know, I mean, yeah, Cao Cao is always going to kind of be in it, right? And he's really the one that you watch for. You kind of just watch him nervously and try to keep up. But uh, even he's not really dominating everybody. He's kind of just slowly pushing everybody out. Whereas usually he just runs, you know, rough shot over everybody. And uh, Zun Kuyang, we're trying to do our part here. So we're mostly just trying to harass him and keep him from just kicking back and amassing soldiers. As much as we can, you know, anyway. I don't want to... I don't want it to really come at my expense per se, you know, but I do want to keep harassing him. So that's what we're doing over there. And then over here, we're just looking for an opportunity to take Zitong and amass Liu Zhang's force. Because once we once we amass his force into ours, once we add that stack of 35 officers that you see there, oh man, we're going to be able to really make some things happen. Um, because then I'll have... Not just the wealth, which I've had all this game that's kept me in it. I'll have the wealth and then I'll have the, the officers to actually manage multiple fronts. Um, manage multiple invasions. You know? So, well, I'm kind of, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Because, you know, right now it's like, I could only kind of dip my toes in, in a, in a, you know, a little bit, but I can't really jump and go all in into any of these theaters. The only one that I'm really focusing on is obviously Liu Zhang's because I have to. But I'd really like to put some real pressure on Sun Kuyan, a real invasion. I'd also like to get involved in the Central Plains. But as I said, I just don't have the officer core to do it. So that's where we're at right now. So I think, uh, let's see. Right now we're watching this over here. I've got two officers. They're both, you know, they're not the greatest officers, but they're, they're both solid. They both have capturer, which is really important. And what I'm trying to do against Sun Quan is I'm trying to leverage them in some battles against him. So while Sun Quan's sending out these guys to hound them down and chase them, all, all I'm trying to do is route some of his units and hopefully capture them. I think these guys are after him specifically. So after this turn, I'm going to start moving back and giving ground and let, until we can link up with Zhao Yi's forces. I think he's my Jundan too. Yeah, he is. He is my Jundan, so he actually should be able to handle him. But again, I just want to draw in the, his forces. So I'll temporarily, I'll just give him the... Uh, I'll give him the core. Hi. Let him chase me a little bit. And once these guys meet up, then together we'll push these guys back. And hopefully capture some of his guys. Because that's that's what all this is about. That's what all the skirmishing is about there. For me. Is to just to slowly capture some of Sun Kuyan's officers. Um, not, really uh, not really recruit them. Probably execute them. Wow, these guys got here really fast. I mean, really fast. They must have flown down here. Okay. Let's use what Zhang Zhang Yun can do against them. Probably not much. Okay, Zhang Kuyan is actually the real threat here. Okay, so we're, I'm going to have him spend the turn just repairing. Actually, he's going to repair it too quickly. Um, hmm. Repair it or let it get destroyed in advance? 
I guess we'll advance and help. Okay, but this is the kind of stuff I want to do on this front. Is I just want to harass him. I want him to keep having to deploy these little units. I never, I don't want him to amass, you know, because if he amasses against me, it's, it's. I don't want to say game over, but he's gonna crush me, you know. So we don't really want to fight fair with him. We want to leverage our numbers, which we have. You know, we can leverage a lot. So we just want to keep harassing him and forcing him to send out these strong but lower troop count units. Because that's better than the alternative. Okay, she's already hightailing it out of here. That was... Is she or is she still trying to cross? Mm, yeah, it looks like those troops are facing the other direction. So they are out. Okay, this guy's... This is interesting. I've never seen Jiang Lu march down this way. So he's going for that Nanda. core over there. Which is very cool. I think what we should do is return. Um, let's let Wang Ling maybe build... Nanda. One other thing I'm thinking... Uh, hmm. oh. Arrow Tower. Let's see if he deploys to go deal with him, and maybe then we can attack the city. Okay, we've got a troll guy here. Okay, Let's see if we've got, Let's see if we can keep up and get the trading recommendation. There's one for Wu Ling, but Wu Ling is pretty much set. Actually, it's really low on gold. Are we recruiting here? What? Doing both, right? Okay. I don't think we have the funds to do both. Uh, it's 1,200, so we just can't do it. So let's take a let's take a little break there. But yeah, by keeping the fight against on Sun Koyan's shores, on the borders of his territories, we make sure that we don't get invaded in turn, and we kind of curtail his numbers. And that way I avoid facing any crises. Because an invasion of Jing would be a crisis for me, right? That would be like... That would be the uh, worst case. So my cities get exposed. So the best way to prevent that is to keep the front line on his... As close as I can on to his territory. And not mine. I can't help but think too what would have happened if I was able to uh, take this a lot sooner. I had a live stream on Saturday. I'm not even... I couldn't tell you what part it was. It was a few parts ago. And uh, the upload's on my channel. And you can catch it. Uh, I spent like most of the live stream, I want to say like a good 40 minutes preparing to attack. And then I had a humongous force and we still got destroyed. And that really set me back. I keep thinking to myself, you know, if I would have been able to take it way back then, I'd be coming along a lot better right now. But, uh, all things considered, it wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, let's make sure they're not going to catch catch up to him. I don't think they should. So, because these guys are crossing over mountains. He's got a ring formation. He's dragging over the mountains. Can you imagine how unconventional that would be? Oh, they use that tactic. Um, I don't even know what it's... Uh... Well, I don't think he can lead me through because he's in the way himself. False, uh, false orders or something like that. It's called. Okay, still can't get Lubu. Oh man, he's gonna go all the way out there. That's gonna wreck him. 
I need to learn the system because I don't understand the new uh, false orders and how it works. Okay, she's going all the way back to the gate. All I know is that every time it's used against my guys, um, I get completely wrecked. Every time they use it against me, it's like in a manner that just completely destroys me. So, and this is gonna wreck me right here. If, if he's gonna follow all the way out there, is there no way to, uh, is there no way to. Hmm. False info. Probably should have changed the word cautious as a trait as a negative trait kind of kind of clashes a little bit with the idea of false info caution would imply that you wouldn't take any info at, at first um, let's see it's probably gonna be here somewhere battle actually False info. Okay. Lead them to your trap. An ally unit is adjacent to them. Okay, don't have that because he's by himself. You arrive at the trap because the trap explodes, goes off. The designated trap no longer. Mm. Ooh, the only way to get rid of it is to move one of your units. So this strategy is completely uh, destroys single units by themselves. Ugh. Okay, what I'm thinking is how fast is he going to be destroyed? Can I get somebody over there? Keep up the fight. Ooh, can I get somebody good over there? Should have asked that question. Yeesh. Okay, never mind. I think we're just gonna have to leave him to his fate. Okay, wonderful. So let's have Zokang drop back one more hex and then start and then pivot. And then pivot back. Okay, and I'm looking for the directive to also attack him. Maybe straight though. Uh, let's go like this. And enemy contact, attack. Okay. He's going for the throat here. It might finish off. He wants you. This might be the end for him, finally. Everybody's going for him. Okay, he's almost there. I kind of want to see, you know, I want him to get close to the core and see if Liu Zhang's going to do anything about it. Or what. Let's see if we can transport. Wang Zong's over there. He's not over here, so... Also, this is a lot closer to the front. To Zitong. Okay, he's still injured, so it's gonna be a little while. Yeah, okay. Alright, check that. Search. Okay. I was kind of hoping I'd have some officers added to my cities this year, but I guess not. We're getting gold from here. Uh, yes, we're getting four. Okay, that's good. We're pretty low. 
Mm, I'm actually wondering if we should deploy a third unit. Mm, I don't know if they can get there in time, though. Just to uh, drive home the... This goose formation is pretty slow. Ah, but so is Ring, so... Okay, but not Iron Wall, because... I have sent guys out in goose formation that have Iron Wall, and you get these awkward triggers where they're not anywhere near being attacked, and they still trigger Iron Wall. When they clearly should be volleying or doing anything else really and they're just like iron wall let's let's boost up that defense and there's no one around okay i think we're good let's see what let's see how this plays out Yeah, so we w I think we would have won that fight if it wasn't for that false order there. We would have been able to route those guys. But that false order is going to cause them probably to be drawn out and cut off. Oh, he's are they withdrawing already? Luke Soon's withdrawing, so... They may be leaving. Oh, wow, a duel. Okay. Oof. It's not looking good. He's going all out. Ooh, what a, that's an upset right there. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're withdrawing, so... Let's see if we can very quickly knock this guy down. So, keep the losses down. Okay, that's it. Oh, we didn't capture him. Okay, well, I'm going to keep checking, see if I can get a recover here. Confused. Okay, Zhang Ren's been deployed. Pacify. All right. Let's see if that'll fix that, though. I'm not sure. Okay, so he's deployed Zhang Ren again. This time we'll try to confuse him. Maybe if we're able to pacify him, it'll also get rid of the false orders. That's our best chance. If it does, he'll be able to rout these guys. And if not, well... We'll get the obvious result. Okay, so let's have Zhou Kang work his way... Oop, that's, uh, sorry. Let's have Zhou Kang work his way up over the mountains here. And for some reason, every time I try to... I go for this one here... He's pretty fierce in deploying a unit to defend it, so we'll keep her out here. We're, it's kind of difficult to maneuver because it's ring formation. It's very slow, so I just feel like I don't want to commit her in any direction, like too heavily. Okay, how's this going? Watch, he's got he's got little buildings in the way everywhere. Oh, that's funny. Uh, it's meager defenses. Okay, so we got the boss here He's deployed. We don't really have anybody that can stand up to him per se. I think Meng Da has goose formation, so maybe he can kind of get from a safe distance. And 
Yeah, let's let's deploy him. And uh, let's see. Sword is probably the best thing. You know, maybe infernal if that if that works. You know what? Disturb might be better. Um, it might work because it might keep him kind of at a distance. Okay, so let's try to get him. You know what? Actually, let's get him behind the tower. So, let me see. So let's get him directly Whoa. behind the tower and let's get Wang Ling just to move over and just keep repairing it if you can. Okay, between those two guys, let's see what that let's see what that does. Maybe we can get a lot of free shots on him. Okay, then over here, I don't think I need Su Fei. I'm gonna send him out. I'm gonna let's see. Got three thousand guys, but we're not really in we're not really in danger. And that's the thing about marching out multiple little assaults like that. You spread their forces out and then you're also covering your ass because you're making it so that you're not in danger of being counter attacked. Because they're too busy driving off the riffraff that you know the garbage uh that's washed up on their shores. You know, they're busy cleaning that up that over there, so Okay, I think we've done pretty much. What's up to do is really search. Wow, both the cities have been drained of gold, huh? Oh no, not Chengdu. Okay, let's hop over here. Okay. Alright, let's search. Okay, let's see how this goes. It's only going to lose one soldier, so... That's going to bleed my unit pretty badly. I'm not even sure if I should keep Meng Dao there or start withdrawing him already. I think I'm going to have to start moving him back. Get him ready to... Cut tail and run back to the gate. 
Maybe one link can stay in here for one more turn, but he's gonna have to run too. Okay, we don't have any proposals because he's transferring right now. Okay, how's this going over here? Yeah, he's still just heading back. So yeah, I think we'll have these guys. I think we'll have her get just a little bit closer. We'll have him start working his way over there just to draw out his forces. He didn't take any damage? I thought he was already at 21. Should deploy somebody from out here, probably Cheng Dao. Now oh, let's check his tact. Well, he's only got the three. He's got Rally, Inferno, and what's the last one? Oh, Inflame and Inferno. Okay, well, one works against bases, one doesn't. And he's also got the all powerful Rally. Get him kind of working his way towards there. Okay, all this stuff to do is probably search again. Let's check uh, Chengdu also. Hmm. Kind of don't want to send those two guys, they're both kind of busy. Okay, so shouldn't be in danger over here, and unfortunately, I can't do anything about. Zheng Yun's march there, so let's just watch this fight. I don't think he's gonna do anything about the core, so. Thirteen hundred defense. Oof. Powerful. Okay, there's disorder, that's good. wondering is if he's gonna send somebody out to retake that core or not what he's gonna do there oh boy sure enough this guy's gonna run all the way over here well okay let's have him take that and then start working his way back and I don't think we can build anything over here. I think I had tried when I started. Yeah, I can't build on this land here. Okay, you still haven't gotten to the walls. You Yuan Shu over there. Try to recruit Lu Bu. Okay, we need to get this level three. I don't know what the level. What's the last one? Asura formation. No idea. I wonder if it's as crazy strong as the Legion. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? I'd only leave about five. Let's just do a thousand, and then gold a little bit less. Let's do more supplies if anything. Speaking of supplies, okay, we're good there. Let's get this transport. No officers, okay? We're not getting that transport. 
Okay, if Huang Zhang is good, we can deploy him already. Um, nope, he's not. Okay, we're still waiting. I wonder what that formation is at level 4. Hmm, sewer formation. Maybe we can give it to our Legion. Let Liu Kui have some advantage for a change. So. Okay, let's search in a few places. A few spots. Oh, he's back in Jianzu. Let's send him. We should be able to deploy him. He's not too bad either. Oh, we only got three. Okay, let's wait then. Also, check that was our trainer, and he's all the way across, so. Just take him. Take him off of that. Okay, he should deploy and start chasing down Zhou Kang. Let's see what these guys can do against Zhang Ren. Hoping that tower stays up a little bit longer. At least two more turns. <laughs> I know that's probably asking for too much, but at least two more turns. That's what I'd like. Okay, he's probably been deployed already. Well, Ling's got a tactic ready. He should use it. Tactic bar's full. Mm, I don't like really any of these. What is it? Rest restrain who? Oh, okay. That's... Oh, he's done nothing about it. Huh. Ooh. Let's send them here. Maybe we'll, we can take this core also. Oh, yeah? Although, trying to take that core, that's gonna that's a little risky. I am definitely pushing my luck there a little bit. Because he he still has me outclassed, so. He can deploy a concentrated force and just wipe me out. Okay. Let's get an overseer over there. For however long they'll last, I don't know. Let's move that recruiter guy. Actually, um, oh no, let's keep him because he's. We put this guy too. We can switch him over to what agriculture? Okay. I don't know. Maybe these guys are being deployed in response. I don't know why you call them up from the back, but geez, yeah, they're definitely gonna wipe him out. There's... Okay, let's see if Huang Zong's ready. Actually, I'm thinking I should... Okay, he is ready. Alright, great. So... Let's get him out towards the gate here. And so, I think we should make him... Hmm. 
We'll have to make him our redundant, so we'll have to take his off. Because as you saw in the last video, one god bow would have won the fight against uh, Zhang Ren. And Huang Zhang didn't trigger at one time. It was, uh... It was tough. I just needed one trigger, and I think I would have won that fight handily. But I didn't get it, so... Any supplies that we have here? 77. And 50. Okay, let's see if we have this guy ready to send more. Let's go 9. 10 and 20. Miter. Alright. Let's see if anybody a reward here. Don't think so. Too. Okay, so let's see how this plays out. Pretty sure Wang Ling's gonna get routed, but hopefully Meng Da can take out Zhang Ren. Hopefully he has enough steam left. If not, Wang Zong should be about here. A little bit behind the gate so he can come out. Or just keep going, I mean. All right, we got an officer. So there was somebody available and we never got a recruit recommendation for them. And that's something. Could use another disorder here. Okay, let's have Wang Zong make his way over. He's not in the ideal formation, but he just has to clean up. So hopefully he can do that. Okay, now. He's almost back already. So I can just get prepare myself and send him back out again. Um, except he would need some help because of that whole... Okay, Zotai. I don't think we can... We can't really mess with Zotai at all. He'll just carve through everybody. He's got the uh, duelist, I believe. Wait a minute. No, he doesn't. Got bodyguard. Okay. Okay, no, he doesn't. Okay. Either way, he's got Juan guy backing him up. Those troop numbers are kind of large, so. I think we'll back off a bit. Let's move back and see if. Uh, See if we can draw him in because we might be able to. Okay, so let's get him perched up there on the mountain. Let's see who he's going for. Maybe we can cut off his uh his supply route and strand him. Ooh, that guy's seventy-five and seventy-seven. Okay, those are really good. Those are really good numbers. Let's summon him over here, and maybe he can help Zhang Yun on his next attack. Uh, let's see, where is he? Let's see what he has. Formation, fish, and arrow. Good stuff. Okay. He's got helmsman, so he's got some water aptitude. Instrumentalist, furious. This officer I'm not too familiar with. But he seems really good. Okay, we've got some gold stacked up here, so... Let's get back to the recruiting, at least, for now. Okay, let's see. 
let's see. This guy's got 7,000 in this guy. Okay, let's give him a promotion and send him out also. Let's see. I don't have space for too many ranks. And so... I'm probably going to need to really redo the ranks after I take Liu Zhang out because I'm going to have so many officers. So I'm going to have to go through and uh, repick a lot of them. Just reset the ranks across the board. Even right now, I'm already running out of space with, you know, who to assign and where. Doing on food. Well, we're going to get some more, I believe. Okay. Search some more. I can't believe that officer was there all this time. I know I had searched Jing Zhu quite a bit. And it just wasn't able to find them. Okay, so... So we're gonna withdraw a little bit. Which, how's you want you doing? It's, uh, okay. It's like he's been... It's like his, even Lu Bu got routed, ran over pretty quickly. Hopefully Liu Bei takes the city, uh, so he can fight a little bit with uh, Sun Quan. Actually, we should. Okay, let's start fix uh, establishing relations <clears throat> with Liu Bei. And maybe that way we can work together. Come on, we just gotta hit him with the tactic here. Oh, that is the worst. He's activated beast mode. Run. Run away. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, he's still on this horse, that's a good sign. He stayed, alright. Alright, that's the best we could hope for, so. Oof. And he gets away. Good grief. <laughs> and Huang Zong was nowhere to be seen. Where was Huang Zong? He was nowhere, nowhere to be seen at all. Okay, well... He's going to pack it up and go home now. Let's rebuild the tower. Since apparently that really aggravated him. He felt the need to march out just to destroy it. Ooh, huge war on the southern part of the map here. Yeesh. Unfavorable odds for Shixie. Yeah, we're on borrowed time here as well. Because, uh... Soon Koyan's officer superiority is going to make itself known down here too, sooner or later. And he's going to collapse his kingdom. If he's given the time. Okay, looks like Zoe Tai is going to retake the core. Sima Yi and Tai Si Shi are going to pursue. And I don't like our odds there. I don't like it at all, so... Let's get our guys to drop back a little bit more. I'll try to form a formation around the core here. So I don't think that's going to be enough anyway. Wow, this is a bit excessive. Uh, there's nobody out there.
Okay, I think he has a snake. Does. Or we can march Huang Zhu and ring. I still don't know what wild shot is. Enemy siege decreased, enemy demolished decreased. Oof. That's a weird that, that is a weird one. Alright, well let's get Huang Zhu out there. Let's bring him over. Maybe we can try to hold the front against those two. Although I'm gonna have to send a transport because I'm expecting casualties. A lot of casualties. Even if we win. I mean just the nature of the guys involved. The officers involved over there. Okay. And as for over here, they should both be here already, so... Hmm. Do we send them back out already, or do we wait and build up? I can send them back out, but the thing I'm worried about is if I send them back out, we're totally depleted. And if I need to recall more people up here, because this goes poorly, which it has a fair chance of going poorly... gonna risk it if the other guy's here is he here already or no oh he might not be here yeah he's not here yet okay I don't want to send him by himself again because that that misled really that false orders really wrecked me so okay let's get the guys kind of assembled here okay, he's making his way no problem you know, a lot of, um, a lot of beatdowns, but, uh, and I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about this playthrough. The, uh, the bloated economy feels, uh, especially made for, uh, For uh, one of my, t someone uh, of my talents, because uh, my uh, mistake allowance is incredibly high. So, just have this crazy safety net where it's like, oh well, don't worry too much about losing troops. You can just replenish everything. Try again. Okay, she's getting there. That's good. Okay, yeah, here they come, up and over the mountain. Oh, he's joining in too. Oh no, we're not going to win this fight. We are not going to win this fight. We need to run. So Kang's unit, okay. Oof, these guys are much better. Much higher tier. And Huang Zhu's not even there. Okay. We need to run. Let's fall back to E at least. And then we can, you know, reevaluate. I'm not liking those odds. Okay. The other guy's here already, so let's send him out. Liu Zan. Okay, both in fish? Yeah, let's do that. So let's go eight. Oh, I didn't give him. Okay, let's give him a title first. Uh, here's something that's higher than seven. Let's see. Is there a Kai family member we can kick off? Yes, there is. There's always a Kai family member you can kick off. I like the flavor of Liu Kui inheriting his dad's force and slowly just getting rid of all the Kai family. You know? It's just like, yeah, let me get rid of all these. 
commanders from my mom's side of the family. Okay, eight and eight. That seems good. This guy seems, ooh, really good. Every time I get a general that's around the seventies, I get excited. Okay, that's a little scary, ambitious, but either way, sixteen thousand troops on his shore. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to address that and deal with that. So. We might even be able to get up to Wu Chang and build a little bit. And so I feel like we're not doing our part because uh, Xi Xie is bearing the brunt of this S tier invasion. Well, yeah, I'd call it an S tier invasion just because Zhou Yu puts it over the top. Otherwise, it'd be a solid, solid A. B, I guess, if, since he's about to be wiped out if he wasn't on it. But with Zoe, you involved, it's an S tier invasion. And here I am over here just uh, hanging out. So, we're going to have everybody drop back. Need to change her orders. I think I had given her... Yeah, she's got orders to attack. Okay. What <laughs> Okay, let's see if they'll... Let's see if they'll give chase, all those troops or not. See, this is a prime situation right here where if Liu Bei was already built up, he could advance and uh, attack Sun Quan. Okay, let's see, did we get our... Did our goodwill arrive yet? No, nope, not yet. It's pretty far. Okay, Arrow Tower is almost done. Let's try to get Chengdao. Yep, right in front of it. And let's get him a little bit closer. Okay, we've got 11,000 at the gate. Let's transport. Okay, so let's search. Wait, I think we have a recruiter in there somewhere. There he is. Okay, let's see if he deploys over here. If not, we'll focus on over here. I don't think he will, but tower is up there so maybe oh he did okay got to be Zhang Ren again okay I'm definitely gonna have to duck all right cool definitely gonna have to duck and run with Meng Da when he gets closer and I see Chi's gonna hit our flank pretty hard as we retreat. He's in neural formation, he's gonna be pretty quick. Or not. Okay or not. Okay, somehow you aren't you still alive? No idea. Okay, we're just gonna do this last turn. 
And then we'll call it a video. Okay, let's see. We're gonna have to drop back another square. Try to form up a little formation here on the core. Okay, they're heading out. Well, he did pretty well for himself. He's he's really been doing a good job this whole playthrough. Um, his recruiting trait is just excellent. He's been bringing in tons of troops. And he's put up, you know, he's held up in, in battle when he's had to, so. Okay, I think we're going to keep you an arrow because you're just going to make a beeline straight for the city, so. See how you're... Ah, I'm not going to get to see the rematch. I want to see the rematch already, but... I'm already cutting it close on recording time, so... I want to see the rematch, though. Okay. So let's see. Let's search. We'll check our suggestions, and then we'll end the turn. I'm really curious about getting that formation so that I can see... Oh, I hope it's not a, a siege formation. That the... Uh, that they give you. Let's do the burn, because he's going to be there. Actually, and let's do confuse. We got everything against Zhang Rang. He's probably become a familiar face in our forces. All my advisors are just like, okay, Zhang Ren's back, you know. Here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. Everyone's got a different idea. They already know him. You know, we've got wanted posters all up on... Uh, have you seen this man? wanted around these lands wanted for single-handedly setting back the let's play single-handedly Ooh, we got the disorder off also I'm surprised that worked all right Good, let's get Huang Zhang up there. Wonderful. The rematch wasn't as fair, but hey, that's war. Okay, looks like they're gonna, they're withdrawing, so it's gonna be safe for us to come back out. It's safe. Sima Yi's left, it's safe. We can come back out. Okay, let's get the god bowl. Let's cross our fingers and hope we capture him. Still wasn't enough. Wow, I thought we would have. <sighs> okay. Okay, at least the city's been damaged enough. So let's get Mengda back in here so we can we can come back out in a siege formation. We can assault Sig Tong on the next video. Alright guys, so yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Um, yeah, he's going away. It's good. It is safe. You are safe. Wow, he already started conquering the land too. That was quick. Oof. Okay, yeah, so this that'll be it for this video. Uh, hopefully on the next one we can finally assault Liu Zhang and decisively take the city. Um, maybe poach some officers. And we're going to try to set up uh, relations with uh, Liu Bei. Try to improve them. So that maybe between Liu Bei and me, we can work against Sun Quian. Because I feel like it's going to take the three of us to keep this guy 